Hello YouTube, Rudy from the Bedroom here, Guitar Junkie. This is a backing track, I'm just going to do a little jam. And because it skips, I'm going to call it Skippy Jam. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I take my guitars out, 
and uh, I just check them, I wipe them down, I tune them, make sure they're still in tune, clean them up a little bit, and untether young man, or old man I should say. I took this thing and I just cleaned it up a little bit and oiled down the guitar, the fingerboard, because this is, that was the guitar, it wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, this is a flame roasted maple neck and fingerboard. So, you're probably going to see this video before you see my other video, but my Tele Holly Benton that has a flame maple roasted neck and fingerboard as well, I oiled it down with the oil I showed you in previous videos and I just used this here Amish wood milk the rig and man look look at the neck now doesn't have that wet look it's still got that dry satin feeling to it but see it when I look at when I'm looking at it here of course I could see it but when I look on the phone I don't look at that on the fingerboard now come on try to get it just oh, you see it on the first two frets there it looks like that all the way down so yeah not only does the board look darker and richer now it really brings out the flames so you know, this is my Holly Benton A guitar because I can never remember the name, nor could I pronounce it. And this has 22 medium jumbo blacksmith stainless steel frets. Yeah. With a, I don't know what they call it, but it's uh, the, the side mark is glow in the dark. Glow in the dark side mark is if you could see that. Try to get it really close. Illuminating side markers, I think they're called. So yeah, this thing here, these are like 350 to, or should I say 380 up? Let's just play it safe. This is your semi-hollow body, Holly Benton A <laughs> guitar. I'll write it in the uh, in the post with a flamed maple neck and fingerboard. It's got real locking Grover tuners, proper locking Grover tuners. Nice volute there. And it's on a semi-hollow body that has a tiger maple veneer top with Tesla pickups. Coil tap. It's ever so slightly thicker than a LP and ever so slightly wider than an LP. I would say probably quarter of an inch more on the sides and body width, but it's still not a big 335 compass and kinda, I don't like them, they're too big for me to get my arms around. And then got the LP look with the toggle. No poker chip, just a three-way toggle, coil tap, like I said, Tesla pickup, you got the, uh, truss rod adjustment down here on a spindle which is sweet and that's the back now this is a set neck roasted flame maple with 22 medium jumbo stainless steel blacksmith frets on an LP style guitar you can't beat it you just can't beat it these pickups on this guitar sound better than the pickups that I had on my red LP Holly Benton 550 Deluxe 2 yeah and they sound better than the ones that were on my Sire L7 Larry Carlton guitar so you know I'm finding out they have different versions of Tesla pickups and I know that now because I ordered a couple of pairs of Tesla pickups and they came in different models. 
different names with different outputs and different tones. And I think that's what's going on here. So this thing sounds great. The one on my other 550 Deluxe 2 LP B stock, those pickups sound amazing. So I'm hoping that I got the right ones for upgrades on other guitars. Because that's how much I'm a fan of these Tesla pickups because they sound to me as good as a Seymour Duncan for half the price. Some of these are 42 to 52 to 65 to 67 to 75 dollars a pickup. You're looking at a hundred bucks straight away with a Seymour Duncan, and I only know that because Seymour Duncan's my favorite pickup. I like them better than Damasio pickups. They uh, they work well with any other pickup. Damasio pickups they're a little funky. They sometimes they don't play well with other pickups. So yeah, this here is just still an amazing guitar, and uh, I see I've got some more fingerprints. I have to wipe it off and put it back in the bag. I don't play it much, so you know it's unfortunately it's on the it's on the the block. However, it is every time I take it out and just make sure that it's in tune and everything's fine on it, and just wipe it down. I'm still amazed by how well it looks, the beauty of it and the quality for this price you can't beat it man you just can't beat it so before i leave i just want to put a message out for all the haters and the people that get up in the morning and just look to have a fight with someone on youtube with your nasty comments uh, derogatory remarks and uh you know keep them to yourself i don't need it so uh, i'm doing this for fun i don't need to to worry about who's gonna say what on a comment and then reply to it. I'm at the point now where I'm just gonna, you know, mute you from my page and uh, not let you look at any more of my uh, of my my videos on my channel. And I don't need you starting an argument with someone that left a comment, and just to counter that with an argument. You know, you want to start a fight, go out in the street and start a fight with someone and see how that goes. You know, instead of being a telephone tough guy or a computer desk tough tough guy and just sit there and try to stir, stir up crap with someone on a video just because you don't like it or you don't agree with it. Tough snot, you know. For those, you can kiss my butt and move on. And don't pick on the guys that are enjoying my videos and posting comments. They don't need to have to defend themselves either. It's not about that. So that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day. And a better tomorrow.